Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to share my thoughts on repurpose.io. Recently, it's been getting like flooded with all these like AI type website suggestions on my Instagram, my TikTok, things like that. After looking into the best, most highest hype AI sites, I, I tried some of the best ones or some of the ones that seem like they'd be the best. And it's just really hard to get a feel for these sites unless you get the pro version. I mean, they give you like obviously something to do for free, but most of the time it, it doesn't even give you enough to do a complete video or it'll be like really bad quality or it'll be watermarked. I don't know, for me, I just would rather pull the trigger like try one month all these things is like they try to get you to pay for a year and it's cheaper which is cool and I will do that if I like the program but you know it's anywhere from like probably 10 to 25 dollars a month but if you're gonna pay 25 dollars a month I mean the app or the AI thing is probably pretty dope pretty impressive and you could make probably way more than $25 a month just with the app so repurpose was one of those ones that I was very interested in it's just kind of like what you think it is it's basically like a reposting type app but it is kind of like better than everything else I do wish it was a little bit more complete I wish they offered a little bit more features it simply is just repurpose um, I think it's like 15 or $20 a month and I get up to three social media accounts per social media platform which actually is pretty generous because I mean like that's like you could have a essentially three different full like identities or channels because you would be able to have three different YouTube, three different Instagrams, three different all the stuff they have on there. So I really like repurpose like it has had a few hiccups. So me every now and again, one of the social media platforms will have an error like a while ago was TikTok. Now TikTok got fixed and now there's Pinterest. But if you're actually trying to like post all your content to lots of different platforms, or if you're really good at posting on one platform and you want a very easy way to just post everywhere and not even really think about it, you could choose for certain posts to be automatically reshared for you, which is pretty nice. But they also have this feature where depending on the social media platform, you hit a button and you could obviously customize you know like the comment or the description of the post that you're making but they have this button right to the side of the description if you hit it basically AI generates you a great description or a great caption and I've or found it to be pretty good so far pretty interesting and they also give you a lot of hashtags too it does seem to be getting better and better like when I first started they didn't have auto posts to Instagram stories now it's like you could set it up so if not only does it post to Instagram, but it instantly posts to your story. Now it's really easy to do on Instagram, but I don't know, just having a chain reaction. So I set it up. So if I ever post to Instagram, it automatically posts to story, which is nice. I wish it carried a few more sites. Like it has um, half the sites I don't even use. They even have social media platforms where you can't just sign up at any time. You have to be kind of like invited a little bit. So I really like it repurposed for what it is. Um, I do recommend it to a lot of people depending on like who you are and what you do like i think if you're somebody to dip a toe into like you have a lot of content or you post a lot on one thing or you post a lot on two things and like the way i look at the ai stuff is it's almost like hiring an, ass an assistant this is literally what an assistant would do and like sorry my it's going to be cheaper with the ai and it's just nice being able to multiply your work i almost kind of burnt out on editing but now with these ai tools everything is so much quicker and uh it's amazing like another one that i use is capwing now capwing is probably the most impressive one but that's kind of more of like an all-in-one video editor it's not perfect but it has a few key features to where it's like i just absolutely love it so um that's kind of like my all-in-one video editor and then i go to um repurpose after that and kind of just send it all around capwing is great because it's so easy to create vertical content they even give you like the safe lines so whenever you're posting to instagram or tiktok or whatever um, you're not posting anything that's in like the writing or the buttons, you know what I mean? So that's happened to me so many times and it's so frustrating where you put this like, you go out of your way, you make this look really great. And then like the words that you wrote are like mashed up with other words that are on top of it. It sucks so bad. And then it's like one button on Capwing gets you the subtitles for the whole video, which is just so nice. That's why I'm able to like um, just put subtitles with the click of a button on even my normal videos. And I feel like sometimes that's nice because it's like quiet or yeah, I kind of mispronounce something and I could write it more correctly down there. So anyways, guys, repurpose. I really like it. It's, it's for a specific kind of person. But um, if you have a lot of content on one platform, you can just chuck it all over like multi you could just chug it over lots of other platforms. And if you want to experiment with um, other profiles and things like that, it's just going to cut down your time drastically. And it's so really convenient. And I just wish they had a little bit more 
like complexity versus like Capwing. Capwing kind of does it all and then repurpose. It's like, it's good. It has the AI captions, which is pretty good. It has the auto post feature, which is pretty good. It has a few other things, but I wish they would expand it a little bit more. And I'm not really sure the pricing, obviously, or as I was saying earlier, they, it always is a lot cheaper if you buy the year. So, you know, it's basically just try the month and then if you like the month, get the year. But it's really, really, really effective if you're the right person under the right circumstance. And, you know, even if I don't post that much, I probably are going to I'm just going to keep it just because I like how easy it is to use. You could even use it on mobile. You know, imagine just going and, and you're at the amusement park and you send out this perfect like TikTok and then you set it up to just auto post to just all these sites. So you just boom, it's like you have an assistant and it's all sent out. You know what I mean? It's like, it's very nice, but repurpose is definitely nice. I definitely think there's room for another platform to take it over unless they step up their game though. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. It means so, so much to me. I hope you're having a great day because I'm having a great day out here. See you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.